Mohurta Matrimony. No registration charges and no premium packages. Select profiles you like and just pay 25 rupees per profile. Download Mohurta Matrimony from the Play Store. Amid the ongoing standoff between the centre and the farmers who are agitating against the three new farm laws for the last 16 days, Prime Minister Narendra Modi on Saturday championed the ongoing reforms and said these will open new avenues in front of the farmers. We have seen walls between the agriculture sector and other areas associated with it, be agriculture, infrastructure, food processing, storage or cold chain, he said. We don't want walls, he said. We want bridges. The United States gave the final go-ahead on Friday to the nation's first COVID-19 vaccine. Shots for health workers and nursing home residents are expected to begin in the coming days after the Food and Drug Administration authorized an emergency rollout of what promises to be a strongly protective vaccine from Pfizer Inc. and its German partner BioNTech. The US is considering a second vaccine made by Moderna Inc. that could roll out in another week. The External Affairs Ministry said on Saturday that India, Iran and Uzbekistan will hold their first trilateral meeting on joint use of the strategic Chabahar port next week. The first trilateral working group meeting will be held virtually on December 14th and will be jointly chaired by Deputy Ministers of Iran and Uzbekistan and a secretary from India. Home Minister Amit Shah on Friday met with senior government, police and security officials and discussed ways to preempt any chances of violence on Delhi's borders in connection with the ongoing farmers' agitation. People familiar with the matter told reports. Reports say the Home Ministry is concerned that some radical groups may have embedded themselves among the protesters with the aim of prolonging the agitation or engaging in violence that could force the police to react. Counting of votes for Borderland Territorial Council election in Assam is currently underway. The counting, which started at 8am on Saturday, will decide the fates of 241 candidates who contested the polls. The day will decide the fate of the Borderland People's Front, ruling the BTC since its formation as the party is faced with tough contest from the BJP and the United People's Party Liberal. The tableau of Uttar Pradesh will showcase the upcoming Ram Temple in Ayodhya as well as the culture, tradition and art related to the temple town at the Republic Day Parade in Delhi. As per a statement from the state government, the tableau theme for the 2021 is titled Ayodhya, Cultural Heritage Uttar Pradesh.